Here I love it. And this morning, the soap uh, I will make is a morning rain. And it's not raining this morning. But it was raining when I did it. And uh, I tried, and uh, I repeat, I really tried, Fraulen Winter's Droplets Technique. So I went to read her uh, blog, but in a blog you don't you don't see the, the 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 texture of the soap dough if it's very liquid or thick, and you don't also see the speed which she moves the funnel in her uh, in her mold. So uh, I guessed and I tried. As I see, I tried. Whoops! <coughs> I'm losing my voice. So, there's a different things happen. The first, I really misjudge the quantity of soap I would need for the, the, this project. So my soap is thin. I did it in a tall and skinny mold, but uh, it ended up in a, a short and fat soap. So it's more square than tall and skinny. The second thing, I bought oils lately from a girl who stopped making soap and uh, her uh, palm oil, even if it's, it was organic, was very different from mine, the texture of mine. So I don't know if it's one thing that affected my soap, but I didn't like to uh, work with that oil specific. And fortunately, there was not a lot of that. Uh, third, the yellow color. Every time I use yellow, I just panic for a little second because it turned orange as soon as it's come with the, the lye. But when the cook is finished, I always cook, almost always cook my soap for three hours at 50 degrees centigrade. I think it's uh, 122 Fahrenheit. And uh, and then it comes the yellow I want. It's a kind of a little uh, fresh yellow. <coughs> and the fragrance. I told you in my last video, please go and read the comments. This time I use um, a fragrance oil from Mad Oils and there's no comment at all. Not from people who use it and not from the company. They don't see if it's, uh, if it, to accelerate the trace or if it's changed the color or they don't see anything so I tried it and it riced it riced a lot they become big lumps in my soap so I try to save it and mix and mix and mix to try to uh, it, it but it's it was lumpy so I kept going on because when we start making soap it's not time to stop and to try to think. It, it, we just, you know, it's survival. Let's go and do it. That's what I did. And I also misjudged the quantity of uh, soap I would need for my colors. So I kept seven percent for each color of my total batter, but 3.5 percent would have been more than enough. So and um, my, that's it. Oh, I will tell you the oils I used this time. It was uh, coconut, olive, avocado, palm, as I said, shea butter, castor, and al sweet almond oil. And um, they were almost all organic, except the olive oil. Very often I don't use organic olive oil just because I don't want that green color in in my soap you know if you want a white and it's more greenish for me it's not as beautiful so that's the one I don't use and the avo uh, no I, I even think the avocado but there was not a lot was uh, organic so that's it so let's go in the kitchen and so I was a little distracted when I add my lye to my water and sugar and sodium lactate and I didn't mix enough. So I don't know, it's like a jelly, I don't know if you can see that and if that affected my uh, 
soap. I show you here two little holes my, my husband did for me. So it's Bunny from uh, Good Hurst Spa that give that trick so you're, there's no bubble in your uh, soap. Here I will add the famous uh, Clean Laundry Fragrance Oil from Mad Oils and look, as soon as I put it, I don't know if you can see, it started to rise and to have lumps in it, so, and the color will change from that light yellow to very bright yellow look, very bright. So I will mix like a crazy to try to uh, make it as fluid as possible to be able to use it. It's not that bad, but I don't know how it will be affected. There's a funnel attached to a pipette with a tape, electric tape. So your opening is smaller than, uh, you know, you can, you can play with the opening of your pipette. So you have a thicker or smaller droplets in your soap. The other thing is, I, I guessed, uh, the speed that you have to move your uh, funnel from one end to the other one. I didn't know. I tried that for this time. I will see the result. I wear my uh, orange cone, cone hat to support all the workers who work for uh, to repair our streets. It's almost dangerous to drive around here. I told you about the yellow. It's very impressive to see the color at the beginning and at the end. Woo, 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 woo. Thank you very much for being here. And if you are new to my channel, welcome! Next time I will do that soap again, I will have a thicker base, I think, and very liquid uh, droplets. And tomorrow here is Mother's Day. So happy Mother's Day to all women.
All women who have the privilege to hold a baby or a child in their arms and love them. Those little bundles of love and, and joy and oh. So, happy Mother's Day. Bye-bye.